So right now, about 70% of the food on our grocery store shelves is imported from California. Some of it is from Mexico and other places like that. The most is from California. And this is causing a huge, huge spike in prices that we're seeing right now because of our dollar that has gone down in value because of the drought that they have in California, which is pretty catastrophic. So they're suffering a lot of crop losses, a lot of fields are growing barren because they just don't have the money to pay for the water to water their crops. And they're meeting local demand first, so there's less imports altogether coming our way with higher price attached on it already, never mind our dollar that is not doing that well. So that is why you're seeing $8 cauliflowers and, and things like that. Um, and we basically dug our own grave, like this is our fault um, that the prices are so high. And it's because we haven't been supporting our local farmers. Because when we don't buy from our local farmers, they can't sell enough of their crops, so then they just start growing less. And that's the situation we're in now. Even if the local farmers wanted to supply all of the food that we need, they wouldn't be able to because they're not growing enough because we haven't been supporting them. So now more and more people, it's a trendy thing to eat local because they want to save money because the prices are cheaper here locally now. Um, but it's not gonna work if it's just a trend. We're going to get ourselves into the exact same predicament again. Uh, we need to consistently and reliably support our local farmers. And if $8 cauliflower isn't enough to scare you into that, then just do it for the taste. Because growing in BC always tastes better. I don't know what it is, something in our soil, just the right amount of rain, right amount of sunshine, but BC grown food always tastes better. And so we just really need to support our local farmers.